Packers be spending that money on them new coordinators. Those are all blank pieces of paper because I'm broke. But we got new coordinators! And bye-bye, Elliot Wolf. Packers are moving on! Grossy Posse Packer Nation! Welcome to another episode of Packers the Podcast, where you're not to be a Packers fan. But it sure does help. I am your host, Tom Grossy, and boy, oh boy, do we got some shaking up going on with the Green Bay Packers. Now, let's talk about news that broke today, uh, and it's the sad news, unfortunately, of this episode, that Elliot Wolf has signed a four-year deal with the Browns to join their front office. This was something that we've talked about on the show. As you know, I was a... I was pulling for Elliot Wolf to get the GM position. He was offered to be like the right hand man in Green Bay, but you knew that this guy, he has a very bright future. You knew that he was going to be leaving. Um, they even said, like Brian Gutenkerns just said, that they didn't want to hold him back. And so uh, it's, it's expected news. It's very unfortunate, but I wish Elliot Wolf absolutely nothing but the best. Um, his father, Ron Wolf, had some, not harsh words, but some. Uh, some like real words saying, well, you know what? Obviously they didn't want him, so it is what it is. So unfortunately, he's not going to be with us anymore. We are losing a big talent uh, in the in the office, but you know we the show must go on. Now let's get past all the sad news and talk about happy news. One, Joe Philbin is coming back to the Green Bay Packers. Now, if that name sounds familiar, one, because he was a head coach or a crappy head coach of the Miami Dolphins. They lost a bunch of games, but that's not what I'm excited about. Philbin's coming back as our offensive coordinator. Um, And just to give you an idea, from 2009 to 2011, we were number two in point differential uh, with Philbin uh, working under McCarthy. That's, he, he he helped us win a Super Bowl. And so I'm incredibly excited for him to come back. Um, McCarthy did come out and say that he was still going to call the plays, which we've talked about this before. I think this is McCarthy really standing in the spotlight now. You see him being more aggressive, something that us Packer fans have wanted to see for many years. Like, where was this McCarthy? Like, come out with that passion. Come out with, like, let's do this thing. Um, But I I really think that next year is a huge test for Mike McCarthy because he is putting himself – in harm's way, because he is taking a lot of the responsibility, just like Packers president Mark Murphy is. He's flat out saying, like, I should have taken more of a role in, I should have stepped in, I should have been taking a little bit more control of things, and I'm going to do that now. Everybody, the GM, McCarthy, they're all going to answer to Mark Murphy. Um, Obviously, Brian Gutenkurs, our new GM, will have control over the roster. He said that he is also going to be somewhat aggressive in free agency. He's going to do whatever they have to do to acquire the players they need, which is just like the most beautiful thing you've ever heard if you're a Packers fan after years of just like fickle, frugal, non-existent free agency signings. Like the last big one, obviously, is Martellus Bennett, and then like Julius Peppers. But yeah, and there's just been those years where we just need a few pieces, and, and that could have been done via free agency. So Packers are making some changes. Now, not only did we get a new offensive coordinator, but we got our defensive coordinator to replace Dom Capers. And you know what? To be honest, even if it was a six-year-old child who had never watched a football game before, may have done just as well as Dom Capers. I kid. I'm not. But uh, Mike Bettine is going to be the new Packers defensive coordinator. Um, Just to give you some stats about him, from 2009 to 2012, uh, he led that amazing Jets defense that carried Mark Sanchez to two straight AFC championship games because you know Mark Sanchez didn't do that. Um, In which, for the years that he was at the Jets, their defense in total yards was number one, number three, number five, and number eight. So all of them in the top ten. He also did a stint with the Buffalo Bills and turned that defense around, that's when they started being super-duper dominant, and they were number 10 in total yards when he was there. The last stint that he did was with the Browns, in which he took a far less talented team than they are right now. Even though they went 0-16 this previous season, he took that Johnny Manziel team, which was just a circus, and took them to 7-9. and That's damn. Like, that's impressive. And so uh, you'll be seeing him, hopefully, on the sideline. He's got, he's got a big bald head. Um, but I'm very, very excited for him and what we're going to do on the defensive side of the ball. 
Um, when asked if he was going to do a 4-3 or 3-4, he said, we're going to mix it up with packages. We're going to do whatever we have to do. One of the big things that I've noticed when looking at Patin's defenses is that the pass rush becomes better, which is something that we are in dire need of, not only pass rushers, but like Mike Daniels, who just got named to the Pro Bowl, by the way, because Aaron Donald got hurt. Not clapping because Aaron Donald got hurt, but because of Mike Daniels. Always love him. Is that the pass, like, we, we need to get home there. Our, the QBs that we play have forever to throw the ball. And so that being said, hopefully he can improve uh, some of our guys on defense. Because I think we do have the talent. Um, obviously, we're missing in some areas. We do need another cornerback. We need a pass rusher. We need an outside linebacker. But that being said, I'm, 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 I'm just excited to see what all these changes bring. And obviously, you know, a year from now, if I'm sitting in the same position, which we're not in the playoffs and I'm crying, you know, I, I will not be as excited. But listen, it's one of those things that this may be a, a blessing. The fact that Dom Capers is gone while I know we're all disappointed we're not in the playoffs, it's kind of a win, guys. And I'm not just pulling at, I'm not pulling for things, like, you know, trying to make things seem better. Like, these changes are a long time coming. They're finally here. This is the new Green Bay Packers. Let's go win a freaking Super Bowl. What are your thoughts on this? You excited? You happy? You sad? You're nervous? Because first I saw Brown's coach, and I was like, ugh, because he hasn't been in the league since 2015. But with Philbin... And Patine, I'm very excited of the direction this team is going in. You can always find me at TomGrassiComedy.com, T-O-M-G-R-O-S-S-I Comedy, or Tom Grassi Comedy on the Twitter, uh, Instagram, and all that stuff, too. Uh, check out PatCast, P-A-C-K-A-S-T, which is this podcast. We do several episodes a week. We also do, during the regular season, we interview fans from the opposing team. So check those out. They're on SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play Music, and, of course, YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so excited. I'm Tom Grassi. And, as always, Go Pack Go.